Yay! <laughs> I'm excited to be here. My name is Faith. And welcome. I wanted to say welcome again, but no, this is my first video. So welcome to my channel where we'll be talking on Faith. Oh yeah, that's my name. <laughs> Side juice, I didn't like my name before. I think of it probably did not like their name. I don't know. Relationship and lifestyle. Best to believe you're in the right place. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you subscribe and also like and comment and share with your friends. So, welcome one. So before we continue, I want you to tell yourself, the cost, costless shall not come. I don't know if you, that's what you believe because that's what I believe in these times that, you know, there's so many things going on already in the world. Yesterday I was watching the news. And I was saying locust infestation in I think Somalia and all that. I remember when I was traveling some months back and someone was telling me, or oh, let me say I was hearing the conversation. I was not eavesdropping, please don't judge me. <laughs> but she was speaking in my language. I know when somebody is speaking a language in a strange land, you hear we stand like Pff. so yeah. I was listening to one, she was telling, she was talking over the phone to somebody and she was like ah, there's so many prophecies in this year that she went to church and she was told that there will be so many deaths. There will be, you know, there will be. She said a lot of things. I wouldn't say those things are not happening. The way it actually said that the prophet C came to pass. Well, later on, and okay, no, before that, she was now telling the woman over the phone that... Ah, Sprinkle water on top of your children, pray on the water and all that, and read some night one before sleeping, and many things like that. Ugh. I'm not judging the people that read all these things and, you know, pray over water and all that. No, that's not what I came here to do. She continued again. I think the other woman said another story to her, and she was, she started cursing and raining cursing. Like, I'll try and translate. Oh my God, Lori this and this and so many things like that well I'm, I'm going to try and trust the people that so and that was when it dawned on me really I remember the passage of the scripture that says um making the word of God of non effect is that not what most of us are doing how is our words and even our lifestyle? You know, I realized that for the fulfillment of the scripture to happen, the ones you read daily, they all have clauses that you have to obey. Every scriptural blessing has a clause. In Deuteronomy chapter 23, we'll see where if thou shalt be blameless, if thou shalt serve the Lord your God with all your heart, then all these blessings and all will, will you know come upon you and all. So I don't think there's any blessing in the Bible, if there is, maybe you comment down below, that has that does not have a clause attached to it. Meaning that before all this fulfillment of the scriptures can really happen in your life, before you you know so many things happen. I see people's WhatsApp status is how they remember the the people now quote scriptures. Ah, the ones that you probably have forgotten. Those ah. Um, the Lord is with me, the Lord will guide me, and so many things, so many of the Bible verses that people remember nowadays before it can be fulfilled in your life. You see, I'm not talking about whatever pandemic that is happening right now because I believe that in this life, what is happening is no news in our personal world. You know, you as a person, you have a world of yours, but this is just happening like physical world. You have your world of yours that when things happen, sometimes you start the year roughly and it's not going so well for you. But then as the year goes by, you are saying thank you, Jesus. You are counting your blessings and all. You're able to say, you're able to testify to the glory of God for everything that has happened. And that is how, that is how you should actually see what is happening right now. He says that. So for me, I want to tell you today. That the vision is still clear. I don't know what you have chosen to believe. So many things are happening already, and you're already folding up your dreams. It's like I don't want. It's like Jesus will come. 
before you get married jesus will come before so before you know you have online courses to do and or probably like you have to read for an exam because you want to do your masters and further your education many things is like you have dreams but then you're already folding up because you feel like ah, god has already come or god is already coming or things are not looking like ah. i think i was thinking at the point that how will how will the world get back to his, how will the world be stable again after all these things that are happening i just want to tell you that the vision is still clear the things you want to achieve don't let evil prophecies and the things going around you cloud you to cause discouragement for you in this year it's happening yes i know so but for those that have been affected one way or the other this year has started you know so many bad news around there remember that he said in john chapter 11 verse 14 that this sickness this happenings they are not unto death but for the glory of god that the son of god might be glorified thereby trust me he's already been glorified you can see you know people running to christ our faith even the ones that believe us already their faith is increased you know souls have been saved prayer life has been activated people are spending more hours praying to god you know there is now the fear of god that one is the one that is so you know so wonderful people have the fear of god that i know jesus can come at any time people are now being you know they are being cautious of the fact that they're supposed to be to live a rapturable life and it's a beautiful thing really i it's it's a beautiful thing souls are being saved people are being drawn to him god is being glorified and god will still keep being glorified because he will do marvelous things so believe today that the sickness or the happenings that we are having now is not unto death is not to cause you sadness or to cause you worries it's for his own glory okay as i was saying before whatever the promises of god are you activating in your life your lifestyle must activate it also the bible says in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 35 it says cast not away your confidence which you have which has great recompense of reward because you have need of patience that when you have done the will of god you might have been you know you might you must have obeyed you must have been in line with the will of god before you can receive the promise it says that after you have done the will of god then you might receive the promise for yet a little while yet a little while either we come we come the solution will come stability will come above all take the shield of faith you know believe so much in god this time let your faith be activated that you are able to quench all the fury that of the wicked you see all these things are happening eh i won't say it's from the wicked or it's from god though god knows take the helmet of salvation don't be like that woman that just told somebody to sprinkle holy water and that start cussing people up and down you know i read i probably might have been <clears throat> you know guilty of this the fact that we talk on our leaders during this period you know believers are really doing so much of that now we are wishing that this person dies before this person you know <laughs> take the element of salvation hold fast that which you have professed the sword of the spirit which is the word of god praying always with prayer and supplication keep on praying for the people that are affected keep on praying for yourself keep on praying for the nation keep on praying for all the dreams that you still have to accomplish see nothing will stop your dream i don't want to know and always tell yourself the cost costless shall not before going you learn it and teach your people to activate your faith and i believe that it will touch your life in jesus name and the authority of the holy one i rise up and take my stand i'm a blood but child of the living god who is the great i am I'm an heir to hold that heaven holds and no principality can never take away my royal crown. 
authority all the authority you have in Christ you have on the promises of God only let your life be in line with the word of God to activate them for manifestation thank you so much for coming over I'm so grateful for doing this this is my first video thank you very much because I know I have your support already and like I want to see your comment and share so that you bless other people and subscribe. This is Faith Adibuye. By the way, I have to give you a shout out because my sister will kill me if I don't. Shout out to my baby sister. Look at me this beautiful quotes that I stole from her because I love it. Because it's fine. I know you love it too. Thank you very much. Till we see next time.